Yo, Salil dropped some bombs on us, and I don't think the community was ready for it. And no, I'm not talking Shisui, which I'm sure you've seen how technical and versatile his arsenal is. We'll get to him in another video, but for right now, I want to address the shift in the current competitive meta this latest balance patch introduced. This is everything you need to know about patch 2.21. Oh, come it, cook! To kick things off, we have the Paralysis Tag, which is a range type ninja tool. Increase damage dealt to enemies. Reduce restriction damage dealt to enemies. Now I know what some of you are thinking. What is reduced restriction damage? This is actually what is so meta changing for this update. But more on that later. And trust me, you're gonna see this phrase a lot. Seal Tag, Trickery. For range types and healers, added effect that resets the substitution stock of enemies. This is actually a dope buff. If you don't know, range types are the only type that doesn't have self heal. Yeah, we know. But also, nothing that locks or resets subs. And you can get more, uh, some pretty cool setups off this tag, troll wise. Now for the type specific stuff, starting with attack. And this next one is pretty huge. Added an effect that prevents substitution to a strong attack. Every type has a, had a unique effect to their triangle button before, or Y for next box. Whether that be kunai, armor, or guard breaks. Attack types never really had an incentive to use their strong attack outside of traveling across the map. Now, however, chaining together some strong attacks into your combos can actually deal more damage than breaking your square or X buttons. Teleportation. Added effect that increases ninjutsu damage Adjust the movement speed boost now increases both movement speed and jumping ability. This was definitely in preparation for some Shisu cosplay. This Jutsu is the definite, the biggest winner of this update. It's basically an 8 second Kamui bond. You're definitely going to see this more outside of flag battle too. Octopus Hug. Increase damage dealt to enemies. Reduce restriction damage dealt to enemies. There's that phrase again, reduce restriction damage. So, what does this actually mean? Over a year ago, I made a video breaking down the recovery animations in the game and divided them into two main categories, stuns and staggers. A stagger was a stun state that not only were you able to substitute out of, but didn't deal any extra damage. Known staggers were like the charge attack stun or jump square of the claw combos or defense combo. A stun, however, had an imaginary defense debuff that didn't actually show in any description, but caused the following attack to deal more damage. Moves like Octopus Hug and Lightning Net were notorious for this, and what was worse is that these stuns stacked with other stun moves and defense debuffs. Examples of this were Icicle Swallow and Lightning Net, or Octopus Hug and Lightning Net, or Shadow, Su uh, Shadow Stitching Jutsu just by itself. So being one-shotted in the game, in any game, in any game mode, was the current meta. So this stun meta, which the developer summed up into the phrase "restriction damage," was removed from the game. Basically, any combination of defeating an enemy instantly with any of these moves on screen was taken away. I do want to point out one thing, though. Even though the current competitive meta is gonna shift and you'll see less of these jutsu does not make them useless. Remember that all of these moves break armor, so the seemingly untouched defense types with the broken Demon Hunter and Hazan Strike set can still be countered by any of these jutsu that were touched in this patch. Treat them like you would a Matarasu or Buddha hands, damage dealing jutsu that break armor but didn't have what the old meta demanded in a one shot. Moving on. Water Dragon added an effect that reduces enemy movement speed. Kamui Lightning Blade decreased the amount that reduced from the enemy's defense, increased enemy downtime. Less defense debuff, but easier to combo after. Gentle Fist Technique Body Blow increased damage dealt to enemies, increased enemy downtime, added effect that increased defense while the ninjutsu was active, adjusted so that ninjutsu will not be cancelled by certain enemy ninja tools. Next are the secret techniques. 
and other than the ones affected by the reduced restriction damage, only attack type and heal types were touched. On both Gate of Limits and Kurama Link mode, they added an effect that increases attack tracking speed. You're gonna see this buff a lot with Shisui's Jutsu and Substitution, but for now, you basically close the gap to an enemy ridiculously fast. This is what I assume will be a problem dealing with attack types in the upcoming months, if unchecked. Mind Transfer Clone Jutsu added an effect that reduces enemy secret technique dodge. Far from where it was compet in the competitive meta tier list, but a step in the right direction. This now takes a decent chunk out of the enemy's ult cage, but nothing to where it would make it uh, make a strong comeback. I bet you'll see this more frequently though. And lastly, the clones. They've all received the same treatment as the other reduced restriction moves we discussed earlier. And that's everything you need to know about update 2.21. No changes to Hazan Strike or Water Pillar, unfortunately, but we should see a shift in the meta for survival and combat. My final thoughts is this. Crazy to think that for the longest time, I've preached about not being Jutsu reliant. All of my build videos I recently posted were focused on getting you to utilize your combos and incorporating your Jutsus into them. This update basically catered for attack types, but indirectly buffed defense types, whose meta was left unchecked. Range mains, it's time to elevate your skills. Hill types will be a lot trickier to catch, and attack types will be a lot more aggressive. Defense types, of course, will defense type. Welcome back to the definitive bottom of the barrel again, range mains. But overall, I like the direction the devs are taking us. Let's see if this leaves us with a greater variety in our battles moving forward. Also, leave anything else you may have discovered in your own lab sessions. And let's get a discussion going in the comment section. What do you think about this update? And what do you want to see in the future? I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.